What's up YouTube? Back today with another fish room update and today we're going to be adding some new fish into this 125 gallon African cichlid tank that you see right here behind me. So stick around at the end and see what we add in here. Alright guys, so today we're going to go shopping, but we're shopping on a budget, so we're going to go ahead and go to my at-home fish store, and we're going to see what we got right here. So, let's go ahead and pick out some new fish for this tank. Any of these guys? What you think, Monty? Probably not. Nah. No Boonas. What about these star sapphires? It's a possibility, but not today. These guys are still going through quarantine. Got to get them nice and healthy we'll make sure that they're nice and healthy because they already are we got this flower horn Hi. right here definitely not some of these guys nope eh, probably not but there's some uh good candidates here in this tank that'll be right there and then this albino pink will be I'm debating on adding them in there they're a little bit smaller but they're bright at the size that i think they would be okay so what you think, Monty? We gonna add some fish from this tank? Nah, these are some BODs that I have that are pretty small still, but I think I'm gonna leave this tank a species only and have them all in here. Down below, I have another 75 gallon, but those those fish are all from that 125 gallon. They're kind of getting picked on that tank. This tank, maybe this guy eventually, but not today. This tank, definitely not any fish. This one right here. There's a few good candidates from this tank right here that I could add in that tank. I'm thinking this guy maybe right here. It's the Sunshine Peacock. I got this Venustus right here. I'm thinking he's a good candidate for that tank. Also, I have my Redfin Borley Eye down in that tank. I gotta get out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and catch some of these guys out and get them ready for that tank. I don't know exactly which ones we're gonna do, but you guys will figure out here in a few what we're gonna do. And I also have this tank right here, but none of these guys are gonna be good in that tank, I don't think. Oh, so, no. here's some good options right here. This is probably the best tank to pull out of, and we're gonna go ahead and take some out of here. All right guys, so I think I know what fish I'm gonna be adding in there. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and add the Sunshine, and the Venusis, also the Redfin Boiler Eye, and then I got those OBs down in that 40 gallon down there. But first, I'm going to go ahead and feed this tank and show you guys how these guys eat. As you can see. Dump a little more food than I wanted to in there. But that's alright. This little bicer is going to go ahead and clean it up along with the Synodonis in here. But I'm going to go ahead and get the... Uh, get all these fish caught out of here and pick the camera back up here in a few and get them guys acclimated and ready to put another tank. Alright guys, so I got all the fish caught out. As you can see, they're in here. The Venustis, Sunshine, and then the Redfin Borlei. And then in here, I got an OB, pink OB albino, and then another OB peacock. They're gonna go in this tank right here with these guys and join this community. First, I gotta go ahead and feed all these fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them right now. Trying to enjoy these guys real quick before I add all the new fish. I think they're going to look really good in here. Give it a nice little flavor that it doesn't have right now. Go ahead and give it some more. I'm going to feed them pretty heavy. I just don't want to have any aggression because I know these guys are pretty big. It's a feeding frenzy. Got some real beautiful fish in here for that OB. Hey, Londi, sulfur heads. I think these are sulfur head haps. If I'm wrong, drop in the comments below and let me know what they are. But I'm pretty sure that's what they are sulfur head haps. Of course, I got a bunch of dragon bloods in here. A really nice line of dragon bloods at that. 
<clears throat> my big old starry night <clears throat> red empress <clears throat> excuse me excuse me all right i'm gonna go ahead and let these guys finish up acclimating and i'll pick up the camera here in about 15 minutes or so and when they're over they're ready to go ahead and go in this new tank see you then one eternity later all right guys it's been about 15 minutes so i think they're acclimated and ready to go and i want to get them out this bucket because you can already kind of see that that venusis is just going crazy attacking these guys so i'm gonna go ahead and catch him out first Let's go big to little where's he at oh long fish buddy he's like get me out of here where's he at there he goes Ooh. <laughs> Got a boat. Look at that red friend boiling eye though. Oh yeah. The noose is right back there to hide. There he goes. It was good in here. Definitely a W I think for this tank. Now I'm trying to see where the red fin oh there he is. He's a stunning fish. Wow. Something a little different. I don't have any of those. Look, that's all, all those bite marks are literally from right now from that Venusis in the bucket. That's crazy. I don't know why he got on that that fast, but you all have that. All right, let's go ahead and get this next guy out of here. With a beautiful fish too. Wrong way, brother. Oh, he just ripped off his scales doing that shit. Wow, that Venusis was really going ham in that bucket. That's just disappointing. And I'm thinking that Venusis was causing problems in that other tank as well, so hopefully I don't have any other aggression in that 125 with them starry nights. Uh, and if he doesn't calm out, he's gonna be rehomed. So you better chill out, bucko. Shots fired! Shots fired! Look at that OB. Each OB stays on each on the opposite sides of the tank. Look at him over here. And this guy always stays on this end. It's pretty funny how that works. The red fin boardly eye. I really like him. All right, let's go ahead and get these last two up out of here. Let's see, let's see if I can catch them both at the same time. Doubt it, but oh, oh, come on, come on, come on! Ooh, I'm cold with it. All right, at least these buckles in here. Wow, he literally lost all his color fast too. He is a stunning fish right there. Can't wait to watch these guys grow in this tank. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Tank's looking a little more full with five more fish. It's crazy what five fish can do. Ta da! Alright, guys, one more quick question before I end this video out. It's about these guys right here that I picked up the last couple videos ago. I got an albino Turkish and then an uh, albino flavor scent. And I'm wondering where I should put these guys. I don't know if I want to put them here in this albino tank that I have because the uh, this tank is just perfect. There's no aggression in here. Everybody's getting along really well. So I don't really want to throw anything off by adding new fish. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and add them in here. And I think it'll be a good fit. They're not much bigger than these guys and everybody's real peaceful in here. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and put them in here and see how that goes. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. <coughs> and that's probably it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you guys get notified every time I post a new video to stay up to date with what I got going on here in the fish room. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm out. <laughs>